When was the last time you had a conversation with someone about Jesus or shared your testimony with a friend or family member? Was it this past week, last month, or even last year? It is essential that we know what we believe so we can boldly profess the hope we have in Christ. We have let so much normalize in our culture. Most Christians are scared to get into spiritual conversations because we don't want to make friends or family mad at us. Nabil Qureshi says in the American Gospel that, The Christians who are around me did not share the gospel with me, and I did not know why. I concluded either they didn't believe the gospel was true, or if they did believe it, they wanted me to go to hell. Are you a professing Christian that won't even share the gospel with someone? Give them the hope that we have in us? Give them light in such an ungodly culture? The Bible says in 1 Peter 3.15 that we always need to have a reason apologia. Apologia, which is Greek, is translated to English to the word defense. The Bible showcases us clear evidence on how we should go about defending the faith. Let's look at 1 Peter 3.15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. A survey conducted months ago by LifeWay Research found that 52% of Americans and 30% of evangelicals say that they believe Jesus was a good teacher, but not God. In another part of this survey, 65% of evangelicals agree with this statement. Jesus is the first and greatest being created by God. Yes, these are professing Christians making such audacious claims Brothers and sisters, we must never assume that people know the real truth. Are you strong enough in your faith to defend such claims? Again, we must know what we believe so that we can boldly profess the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. When you compromise your faith, we put the next generation at risk. Preaching the word of God is not a suggestion. It is a command. Let's look at the Great Commission. Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20 say, Go ye therefore and teach all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Here's a humble nudge for all the Christians out there. Share the gospel with someone this week. You never know what God will do with the planted seed.